Zhang Hao twisted two copper hammers and said, Your Majesty, this is not a good person. You leave it to me, and I will hammer him to death. Yen Song knelt on the ground and shouted loudly, Zhang Manzi, I am a good person. Jia Jing also anxiously grabbed Zhang Hao and said, Zhang Manzi, don't worry, go, go to the back to sleep. Keywords of the novel Da Ming Mang Fu No Pop-Ups, download the complete collection of Da Ming Mang Fu TXT, and read the latest chapters of Da Ming Mang Fu. Chapter 1 My name is Zhang Manzi. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 1 My name is Zhang Manzi. Hower, Hower, wake up. A middle-aged man wearing armor with blood was anxiously shouting to the boy in his arms. The boy was also wearing armor, with bloodstains on it. Lord Guogong, the totters have retreated, all have retreated. A colonel rushed into the military tent and knelt down, arched his hand and shouted. Okay, order the soldiers to rest, treat the wounded, and send them back to the city, said the middle-aged man, who was Zhang Rong, the British Duke of the Ming Dynasty and in charge of the capital guards. Yes. The captain turned around and left. Hower, Hower, don't be scared to become a father, Hower. Zhang Rong held the young man in his arms, tears streaming down his face, and there were many soldiers surrounding him, all of whom were his subordinates. MMM. At this moment, the boy let out a moan, feeling a splitting headache. He couldn't help but hug his head and curl up. Hower, what's wrong with you? Zhang Rong shouted anxiously. In the twenty-ninth year of the judging reign. How could it be? I drank a celebratory drink from Mada and ended up drinking it until the Ming Dynasty. Are you still called Zhang Hao? Time travel. War. Sleeping in bed. It must be that he hasn't sober up yet, dreaming. The scenes in Zhang Hao's mind made him faint again. Hower, what's wrong? Wake up. Zhang Rong saw that Zhang Hao had fainted again and became even more anxious. Lord Guo, it's better to hurry back to the city and let the doctor take a look, a general said to Zhang Rong. Hurry up, prepare the carriage quickly, send Hower into the city, come here. Zhang Rong shouted loudly. Master. Zhang Rong's personal soldier entered. Immediately return to the mansion and report to Madam. Ask Madame to send someone to the palace and report to the Emperor, saying that our son Zhang Yuanda is seriously injured and requesting the Emperor to send an imperial doctor. Zhang Rong continued to command. Zhang Hao, also known as Zhang Yuanda, was the second son of the Duke of England. Lord Guo, it's fortunate that the Major General was here today. Otherwise, we would be in trouble. The Major General is really brave. He broke through the encirclement alone and rescued us. Alas, unfortunately, he was hit in the head. A general stood there sighing. The helmet on Zhang Hao's head was smashed with a big hole, but there were no wounds or swelling on his head. I want to serve as the Minister of War, why haven't we seen rescue for so long? The army is just above the city wall, and they are suppressing their troops. Zhang Rong shouted angrily at this moment. This time, the Tatars mobilized more than 100,000 troops to attack Beijing. Zhang Rong, as the guardian in charge of the capital, acted as a defensive force against the enemy, but only had 50,000 troops on hand. However, most of these 50,000 troops were detained by the Minister of War, preventing soldiers from leaving the city to fight. Some of Zhang Rong's guards carried Zhang Hao out, and carriages were already prepared outside. Lord Guo, we also need to go back to the city. We don't have many soldiers now, and there are still a large number of troops on the Tatar's side. It's probably not appropriate to camp outside the city at night, said a general, bowing his hand. Go back to the city. You must go back to the city at night. Zhang Rong spoke with a dark face, his heart filled with fire. If it weren't for this son today, I would probably have died in battle, but now, my son's life and death are also unknown. I don't know how long it took, but
but Zhang Hao leisurely opened his eyes and saw that it was actually an old dot fashioned bed from movies and TV shows. Well, I haven't woken up yet, I'm still dreaming. Zhang Hao thought to himself, so he continued to sleep, but something was wrong. He seemed to be awake, and in an instant, he opened his eyes and carefully looked at the mosquito net on the top of the bed. Sleeping trough. Zhang Hao sat up in an instant and looked at the furnishings outside the mosquito net. This is not his own bedroom. Then, Zhang Hao couldn't help but imagine scenes from the past, both modern and his own during the Ming dynasty. I, I, I. I, really Nima has crossed the border, how could it be? Zhang Hao sat there, touching his head, wanting to cry without tears. Young master, you're awake, madam, madam, young master is awake. At this moment, Zhang Hao realized that there was a maid lying on the edge of the bed, dozing off. He saw Zhang Hao wake up and immediately ran out. In no time, Zhang Rong and his wife Su came in. Hower, Hower, I'm so scared to death. Madam lifted the mosquito net and hugged Zhang Hao, crying. Uh, mother, the child is fine. Zhang Hao subconsciously said, feeling surprised that he had not yet accepted the journey. Okay, it's okay if it's okay. Take good care and patrol the city defense with your father tomorrow. Zhang Rong was also very excited at the moment, after all, Zhang Hao woke up and felt a lot of peace of mind. However, Zhang Rong did not show that being a father requires the dignity of being a father. Yes, dad. Zhang Hao replied again, then remembered that he seemed to have a fierce fight. To be precise, killing enemies on the battlefield is very impressive. Although I am only 17 years old this year, I have already killed no less than 50 enemies in my hands. It seems that my brain is not very agile and I am called a barbarian. The so dot called simple mind and well dot developed limbs refer to myself. Still going. Is there no one available for me in the Ming dynasty? Those people in the city sing and dance every day, and only you father and son guard the city defense. Sue complained excitedly. When the news came today, I almost scared her to death. Jean Rome remained silent and went out in silence. He was the commander of the capital, or the British Duke of the Ming dynasty. Throughout the Ming dynasty, the British Duke was in charge of guarding the capital and devoted himself wholeheartedly to the Ming dynasty. His ancestor Zhang Fu also followed Emperor Ingzong's northern expedition to Walla, resulting in the Tuma Fortress incident and his death in battle. Zhang Rong arrived at the side of the hall, sat down, and thought about today's scene. He couldn't help but feel a warmth in his heart, and even a hint of pride. His son Zhang Hao, who had always been called a fool, was called a barbarian because he was the Duke of England. However, it was his own foolish son. Today, on the battlefield, he broke through the encirclement alone and saved himself and his people. His son was foolish, but it can be crowned with bravery. Quickly, Lady Su also came out and saw Zhang Rong sitting there, so she sat beside him very angrily. It's getting late, let's rest. I'm going to the military camp. Zhang Rong said as he stood up and spoke. You. Su stood up with great sadness and anger, looking at Zhang Rong and wanting to have a big argument with him. However, seeing her husband's tired body and knowing how Zhang Hao was injured today, she felt anxious, angry, and worried. The words reached her mouth, but they were swallowed again. Pay attention to yourself. Don't just know that you're leading the soldiers in battle. There are so many generals in the Ming dynasty, and you're not the only one. Madam stood there, looking at Zhang Rong's back and said. Zhang Rong nodded and walked away without looking back. Su saw him leave and sat there sobbing. At this moment, Zhang Hao sitting in the room is still organizing his thoughts. Er Gongzi, but you're hungry. How about I prepare something for you to eat? At this moment, the maid came over and said to Zhang Hao, he is Zhang Hao's personal maid, named Jina. She has been with Zhang Hao for almost ten years, two years older than him. Go prepare. Zhang Hao nodded and said. 
Gina was a bit surprised. Usually when she asked this question, Zhang Hao would nod with a silly smile. However, Gina didn't think much and turned around to go out and prepare. In the 29th year of the judging reign, August 14th, it was the Gengshu incident. The Tatars invaded the capital city, but no one dared to fight in the entire Ming dynasty. The Tatars burned, killed, and plundered outside the city of Beiping for more than ten days, and even forced the Ming dynasty to open two horse markets in Datong and Xuanfu. This was the biggest shame of the Ming dynasty for nearly a hundred years after the Tumu Fort incident. Zhang Hao sat there, thinking about these things. No, I'm a barbarian. I'm numb. I just got promoted to associate professor, associate professor at a university. Why did I become a barbarian during the Ming dynasty? No, it seems like a fool. How can I survive? Then Zhang Hao remembered that his body seemed like a fool. Of course, it wasn't very foolish, it was just natural. Oh my goodness, how are you playing with me? I'm happy to cross over to the son of the Duke of China, but you can't do that either. How can you cross over to a fool? Zhang Hao was feeling depressed, a bit amused. The key is to figure out how to avoid revealing any flaws. In case someone finds out that you are a traveler, especially Emperor Jiajing, will this neurotic emperor catch you and slice you? Hasn't he sliced in these years? But this judging is not easy to deal with. The emperor, who is almost as intelligent as a demon, knows how to cultivate himself without going to court for thirty years, but still firmly controls the Ming dynasty. Many loyal and treacherous officials have died in his hands, and killing depends on his mood. But then again, no matter how much he doubts, he won't suspect a fool, will he? But pretending to be foolish is very tiring. Zhang Hao sat there and continued to think. As the son of the duke, it is impossible to escape from this court. Dress up, even if you don't know how to dress up, it's important to protect your life. Judging will continue to be the emperor for more than ten years, but you can't provoke him. Besides, the entire judging period was also strange. Many famous ministers were skilled in playing politics, and it was wise to be clever in front of them. If you can't play with them, it might be wise to act foolish instead. Zhang Hao continued to think and decided to accept this fool's identity. Life was important. The next morning, Zhang Hao finished breakfast and asked Jiner to put on armor for him. Today, he will follow his father Zhang Rong to inspect the city defense. Zhang Rong told him last night that he cannot go without it. How are you? At this moment, Su Shi came over and saw Zhang Hao wearing armor. She was very anxious and wanted to stop him, but her husband was still on the front line. Her son was brave in battle and could protect her safety, but she was also worried that Zhang Hao might have an accident. Mother, my child will follow my father to patrol, don't worry. Zhang Hao stood there, letting Jin Air tie his armor. Hey, okay, my son is sensible and knows how to protect his father's safety, but you also need to be careful yourself. Jiner, let me do it. Su Shi blushed and personally put on armor for Zhang Hao, feeling uncomfortable in her heart. Mother, it's okay, don't worry. Zhang Hao immediately comforted his mother when he saw her like this. In my memory, both my parents were very kind to me and have always been very doting on me. Wearing his armor, Zhang Hao took his two copper hammers and went out. Zhang Hao looked at the two copper hammers in his hand and felt extremely emotional. These two copper hammers weighed at least thirty pounds each, and his body twisted together was like playing. In my past life, I felt tired walking a long distance holding a big watermelon, and that's the difference. Zhang Hao rode on horseback, with a few of his family's soldiers, and rushed towards the military camp. Shortly after walking, he saw a group of young gentlemen walking unsteadily towards this side. Zhang Hao knows them, but now is not the time to say hello. Zhang Hao rode his horse, ready to bypass them. Oh, isn't this Zhang Barbarian? What's wrong, go to war, do you know? At this moment, the leading young man named Ding Yunkai, 
the youngest son of the minister of war Ding Rukue, laughed and mocked. Zhang Hao didn't want to waste time here. His father had to patrol the city defense, but he had to go quickly, so he ignored him. Hey, Zhang Manzi, how dare you ignore me? Ding Yunkai said as he ran to Zhang Hao, grabbed the reins, and the other teenagers surrounded him with a smile. Spread out, I don't have time to argue with you. Zhang Hao rode on the horse and said angrily. Yeah, people who don't know really think you're a general. How could the Ming dynasty recruit a fool into the military camp? Ding Yunkai smiled and said to the young people around him. Those teenagers also burst out laughing. Ah! Zhang Hao sighed in his heart as he saw them. Mima, there's a war going on outside, and they're still so obscene. These people seem to be staying overnight in the brothel last night. Oh, sigh. Zhang Manzi, get off your horse. I'll take you to the brothel to play. Have you brought any money? Ding Yunkai shouted to Zhang Hao with a smile. Get out. Zhang Hao didn't feel in the mood to argue with them, and he got angry when he saw them. He had cheated himself a lot of money before. Oh my, it's against you. Come down. Ding Yunkai heard Zhang Hao scold him like this and wanted to pull him off his horse. End of this chapter. Chapter 2 Eating Me with a Hammer You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 2 Eating Me with a Hammer Zhang Hao doesn't want to talk to them. Now is not the time to argue with them. He still has business to attend to, but Ding Yunkai wants to pull Zhang Hao off the horse. Are you crazy? Zhang Hao controlled the horse and pointed a copper hammer at Ding Yunkai, shouting loudly. Oh, you dare to hit me with a broken hammer, come, hit me here. Ding Yunkai pointed at his forehead arrogantly and shouted at Zhang Hao. Zhang Hao, on the other hand, looked at him speechlessly, wanting to give him a headshot. I dare not, I dare not come down and take out the money. The brothers happen to have no money left and haven't had breakfast yet. Ding Yunkai saw Zhang Hao sitting still on the horse and said proudly. Zhang Hao is just looking at him. Get down. Ding Yunkai continued to pull Zhang Hao, who stood there motionless. Young masters, our second young master is going to the military camp. Could you please show your respect said a guard behind Zhang Hao. Get out of here, do you have the right to speak? Are the servants in the British government so unruly? Ding Yunkai scolded the guards in Zhang Hao's mansion. Zhang Hao turned his head to look at the private guard, then turned around and looked at Ding Yunkai under the horse. Get down, give the money to the brothers, hurry up. Ding Yunkai continued to pull Zhang Hao, trying to make him dismount. Zhang Hao thought for a moment and thought to himself, okay, since you want to play, then play. If you don't play, you can't get away from it. So Zhang Hao flipped over and dismounted. Hey, that's right. Where's the money bag? Ding Yunkai said as he began to flip through Zhang Hao's money bag. They had cheated Zhang Hao a lot before, but this time they didn't cheat anymore. They switched to robbing, and they also knew where Zhang Hao had put his money. Oh, not bad, there are ten tails of silver in total. Your family is really generous to you. Ding Yunkai put the money bag in his hand, weighed it, and said proudly to the young men. Let's go have breakfast. Ding Yunkai then turned around and prepared to have breakfast. You snatch my money, come on, snatch the money. Zhang Hao grabbed Ding Yunkai and shouted loudly. Ding Yunkai and the other teenagers were stunned for a moment, then turned around and looked at Zhang Hao in surprise. Give me the money back. Zhang Hao pulled Ding Yunkai and said anxiously. Oh my, Zhang Manzi. Dare you ask me for money, right? I'll take your money. What's wrong? Let's go. Ding Yunkai looked at Zhang Hao arrogantly and asked. At this moment, there are also many people around who are watching, and some people know them. Give me the money back. Zhang Hao continued. Young Master Ding, please give us the money back. 
Zhang Hao's personal guards also dismounted and said to Ding Yun Kai. Stealing the money like this would make it rumored that none of his personal guards would have face. Moreover, when the old lady finds out, she won't spare her. No, are people in the British government so unruly? Ding Yun Kai still had a contemptuous smile on his face, looking at the people around him and saying. And the people who were watching not far away dared not speak up, as they still knew the identities of these people to some extent. Are you still not returning it? Zhang Hao stared at Ding Yun Kai and asked. No, what's going on? Ding Yun Kai said nonchalantly. Go to your master. Zhang Hao heard this and immediately punched him in the face. Ding Yun Kai felt his eyes turn black, then a golden star appeared, and then he felt dizzy. But Zhang Hao never said to stop punching at all. He punched at each other and before everyone could react, Ding Yun Kai had already fallen to the ground. Zhang Hao continued to kick and shout, Give me back the money. Hey, Zhang Manzi, stop fighting, stop fighting. At this moment, the teenagers realized and came to grab Zhang Hao one after another. But Zhang Hao was so strong that those people who were hollowed out by alcohol and sex every day couldn't move. Zhang Hao seized the opportunity and stomped on Ding Yunkai's arm with a click. Ding Yunkai had already been knocked unconscious, and the pain woke him up. Ah, give me back the money. Zhang Hao continued to kick, shouting loudly inside his mouth. Money, money. A young man reacted and immediately picked up the money bag on the ground, handing it to Zhang Hao. Zhang Hao took it over and stopped kicking. He then tied the money bag around his body and flipped over to get on his horse, saying, Dare to take my money, seek death, go. As he spoke, he urged the horse to move forward. The other guards were also foolish, so. Is this all over? So they all flipped over and mounted their horses, following Zhang Hao. Ah dot. Ding Yunkai shouted loudly while holding his arm. The teenagers quickly helped him up and went to find the doctor. After Zhang Hao finished fighting, he left and headed straight to the military camp. When he arrived at the military camp, his father Zhang Rong had already been promoted and was preparing to go to the city wall to inspect the city defense. Dad. Zhang Hao held two copper hammers and happened to bump into Zhang Rong who had just come out. Hmm, wake up, are you okay? Zhang Rong was originally frowning, but when he saw his son, he squeezed out a smile. It's okay, dad. Are you going for an inspection? Zhang Hao asked. Well, you're following your father. Zhang Rong nodded and strode towards the city wall stairs, while the other generals, colonels, and Zhang Hao followed behind, upon reaching the city wall, Zhang Hao realized that there were a large number of Tatar soldiers stationed not far away, almost a mile away. This completely ignored the Ming dynasty. Lord Guogong, I heard that reinforcements from various places are on the way, and theoretically they should arrive. We can definitely go out. There aren't many Tatar soldiers here, and most of them are robbing in other places, said a general to Zhang Rong. Jean Rong nodded and remained silent. There was no imperial decree from above, and the situation of the reinforcements had not been reported. He rushed out, fearing that he would be ambushed. British Duke, General Pinglu has called you over to Jinmao. A colonel ran over and said to Jean Rong. General Pinglu. Jean Rong was stunned for a moment, not knowing who General Pinglu was. Returning to my homeland, my lord, the emperor has appointed Chiu Wan as the general of the pacification army. The colonel continued to bow his hand and say. What? Zhang Rong was shocked. He became a general. This. Isn't this going to bury our Ming dynasty? The generals behind were also surprised when they heard this. Be cautious. Zhang Rong scolded and his brow furrowed even more. I was originally the main general of the capital, and I should have commanded the battle myself. However, I didn't expect that the emperor had another arrangement. It seems that I am not confident in my command. Guogong Yi. This. 
the generals were all looking at Zhang Rong at the moment. They were all generals in the capital, under Zhang Rong's command, and now only their army was in the capital. Now, suddenly, there was a change of command, and a general named Pinglu arrived. Let's go Jianmao. Zhang Rong walked under the city wall with a dark face. Zhang Hao also heard clearly from behind that the Marquis of Xianning, Chiu Wan, was just a rascal who bribed Yan Shifan, the son of Yan Song, to obtain the position of General of Datong. In June, when the Tatars were about to attack Datong, Chiu Wan found out and even sent a large sum of money to beg for mercy. After receiving the money, the Tatars stopped fighting against Datong and instead attacked Beijing. However, Chiu Wan deceived Jia Jing claiming to have defended Datong and was highly valued by Emperor Jiajing. Zhang Rong and his group quickly arrived at the Zhongju tent. Zhang Hao was not qualified to enter, so he waited outside, idle and bored. He put the copper hammer on the ground and sat there. Soon, Zhang Hao saw a group of people coming over, with the leader wearing armor and more than ten generals and captains following behind. Well, recklessness. Someone, Drag me down. The leader scolded Zhang Hao. Zhang Hao really knows him, he is Chiu Wan, but Chiu Wan may not have seen Zhang Hao wearing armor, and he hasn't seen him for a year or two. These two years happened to be when Zhang Hao was growing up, so he didn't recognize him immediately. Hurry up and drag it down, said a general next to him, and soon a colonel waved his hand at the back, wanting the soldiers on this side to drag it down. But not a single soldier moved. The soldiers here are all the troops around Zhang Rong. Who doesn't know Zhang Hao? Hmm. Is it okay to turn against you? Xiu Wan felt his authority being challenged at the moment and immediately looked at the guards with a dark face. Go inside Jin Mao. When you're free, the Tatar soldiers have all set up camps outside the city and are still arguing with me, this little soldier. Zhang Hao said unhappily. Because he knew each other, Zhang Hao didn't think of a conflict. Someone, drag me out and kill me. Upon hearing Zhang Hao's words, Chiu Wan became even more angry. The soldiers in the capital were all Zhang Rong's men. Now that I am serving as the general of Pinglu, it is necessary to control Zhang Rong and his army without establishing authority. Okay, okay. I don't believe you guys anymore. You guys, let him go out and kill him. Chiu Wan thought to himself. Today, he must kill and establish his power. A few lieutenants were about to come over and drag Zhang Hao. Zhang Hao stood up and twisted two sledgehammers. Find death, go inside Dian Mao, they are all waiting inside. Zhang Hao said angrily to Chiu Wan and his group. Dare to resist, kill on the spot. Chiu Wan stared fiercely at Zhang Hao and said. Chang, several colonels immediately drew out their swords and before Zhang Hao could speak, they started chopping at him. Crouching trough, Chiu Wan, do you dare to touch me? Zhang Hao Hua was so angry that he wanted to kill himself without saying a word. Zhang Hao raised a copper hammer, one at a time. In the blink of an eye, all four colonels were smashed to the ground by himself, with two spitting blood and both heads flattened. Chiu Wan was also stunned for a moment. Chiu Wan, eat me with a hammer. Zhang Hao said as he lifted his sledgehammer and threw it at Chiu Wan. Since he wanted to make trouble, he wanted to make a big fuss, not a big fuss. It was himself who was unlucky. If he made a big fuss, he would have a chance. Anyway, he was a fool and cared about them so much. Stop him. Chiu Wan was scared out of his wits at this moment. He didn't expect this inconspicuous soldier in front of him to be so capable of fighting. The key is that he had a lot of courage. He knew himself and even dared to kill him. The generals and captains around Chiu Wan all drew their swords, but Zhang Hao was quick. One hammer hit one general's hand and the other hit a captain's stomach, flying straight away. Stop! Just then, Zhang Rong's shout came from behind. 
Upon hearing this, Zhang Hao swung his hammer and headed straight for Chiu Wan. End of this chapter. Chapter 3 He is not a good person. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 3 He is not a good person Zhang Hao heard the voice of his father coming from behind and knew he had to take this opportunity to kill Chiu Wan, otherwise the people of the capital would suffer. Chiu Wan would never command to confront the Tatars at all, after all, the walls of the capital are tall and the Tatar soldiers cannot attack, so there is no problem defending the capital. The people outside the city suffered a lot, and the majesty of the Ming dynasty also swept the floor. So he threw a hammer and it flew straight towards Chiu Wan's head, causing him to retreat in fear. However, there was no hammer that flew so fast that it hit Chiu Wan's chest in one fell swoop. With a sound of, ah, Chiu Wan spat out blood and fell backwards. Then, the hammer fell to the ground and hit Chiu Wan's foot, and a second howl came. General, General. The generals brought by Chiu Wan were all protected by the colonels, and some even held knives at Zhang Hao. Stop, everyone stop. Zhang Rong shouted loudly and also stood in front of Zhang Hao. The same goes for Zhang Rong's subordinates. General, General. And Chiu Wan's subordinates were also eager to support him, but as soon as they helped him up, Chiu Wan shouted with a very painful expression. Zhang Hao knew that Chiu Wan must have had his rib broken by himself. General, you, hey, tell me what's going on. Zhang Rong was extremely anxious at the moment. His son had beaten the newly appointed General Pinglu, which was not worth it. He might have been beheaded by Jia Jing. He has served Jia Jing for fifteen years, and he knows very well what kind of person Jia Jing is. General, the young general just sat here and this person called us to drag us down. We didn't move, so he prepared to send these few people to kill the young general. The young general fought back, that's it, a guard at the door arched his hand and said. You don't know how to persuade. Zhang Ronghua shouted loudly. General, we don't have time at all. If this person comes over, they will kill the young general. Before we can speak, they will take action, continued the guard. General Xiao. At this moment, a general brought by Chiu Wan looked at Zhang Rong and asked. He is my second son, Zhang Yuanda and Zhang Hao. Zhang Rong looked at Chiu Wan and the others and said. What? Puff Zhang Ronggang had just finished speaking, and the people on Chiu Wan's side were all shocked. In a fit of anger, Chiu Wan vomited blood and then fainted. Can you avoid fainting? To argue with a fool and suffer such a big loss is not even laughable enough to spread the word. Someone, hurry up and invite the imperial physician. Also, control Hauer. Zhang Rong knew the trouble at the moment and immediately arranged it. A few guards went over and caught Zhang Hao. Zhang Hao looked at Zhang Rong with a look of grievance on his face and said, Dad, why are you catching me? He wants to kill me, can't I still fight back? Shut up, take it down, wait for it to come out. Zhang Rong glared at Zhang Hao with a worried expression and then asked the guards to take him down. Young general, come with us quickly. Just leave this to the general. A personal guard said to Zhang Hao. Zhang Hao thought about it and let those guards down. Duke of England, what should we do now? When the Tatars capture Beijing, I see what you can apologize for. A general from Chiu Wan's side pointed at Zhang Rong and shouted loudly. At this moment, Zhang Rong was very angry, but now it was his own fault, so he remained silent and could only wait for the imperial doctor to come over. Soon, the incident of Chiu Wan being severely injured was reported to Jia Jing. What are you talking about? Is the General Pinglu who I just appointed seriously injured? Or was he injured outside the Central Army tent? Jia Jing has been sitting on the side of the West Garden, controlling the military for the past two days without any intention of practicing. Minister of War Ding Rukue knelt down and reported on this matter. There is indeed this matter. It is estimated that the British Duke condoned the soldiers and injured Chiu Wan. 
I request the emperor to investigate carefully. Xiu Wan was originally the best general, but now that this situation has occurred, what should be done next? Ding Rukue knelt down and spoke up. Okay, okay, Zhang Rong dares to be so bold. Ah, come here. Jiajing sat there, furious. Originally, when the Tatars arrived in the capital, they slapped him hard in the face. I am here. Lu Bing, the commander of the Royal Guards, walked forward. Go, check it out for me. Emperor Jiajing was burning with anger at this moment. Yes. Lu Bing nodded and withdrew. Your Majesty, what should be done for the defense of the capital city, and who should be chosen as the chief general? Ding Rukue asked again at this moment, this is the big deal. Jiajing didn't have a good candidate for a while, so he looked at Ding Rukue. Your Majesty, there are not many generals in the capital now, and General Chiu Wan has not been able to take over the defense of the capital. It's even more difficult for others to go. Ding Rukue didn't have a good heart. In his words, he said that Zhang Rong firmly controls the garrison in the capital, and if others go, they won't be able to mobilize the troops. You go, you personally command and take over the guard of the capital. Emperor Jiajing immediately pointed at Ding Rukue and said. Ah, that's right. Ding Rukue didn't expect that Jiajing would let him take over. He was a bit panicked and didn't know how to command. Being the minister of war also relied entirely on Yen Song's good words in front of Emperor Jiajing. He had some skills, but he was still very clear about it. Let's all go down. Jiajing said irritably. The officials kneeling here immediately cowed out and then retreated. Emperor Jiajing stood up, and eunuch LV Fong came to help Emperor Jiajing. Zhang Rong is so bold, dare to kill Chiu Wan. Jiajing asked, still skeptical in his heart. Zhang Rong is a person who knows for himself and dares not do such a heinous thing. I'm afraid there may be a misunderstanding, Zhang Rongsu should be cautious. LV Fong immediately replied. What should we do? Who will command the war? There are only 50,000 troops in the capital, of which 20,000 or 30,000 are used by various prefectures. Zhang Rong had a memorial before, hoping to strictly train those soldiers and reclaim the miscellaneous workers arranged by various prefectures. Jiajing regretted not listening to Zhang Rong. The current garrison in the capital is severely lacking in training, and the diligent king's armies in various regions have not yet arrived. If the capital is broken by the Tatars, they will become the ruler of the fallen country. And when Lu Bing arrived at the central army tent, he found that Zhang Rong was no longer there, and Chiu Wan was also taken away for treatment. Zhang Rong was worried about the loss of the city defense, so he continued to patrol the city defense with those generals. Lu Bing had no choice but to go up to the city wall and find Zhang Rong, and at this moment, Ding Rukue also went up to the city wall. Duke of England, the emperor has ordered me to take over the defense of the capital city. Ding Rukue approached Zhang Rong and spoke up. Zhang Rong let out a sigh. Ding Rukue has some skills, and he is very clear about it. If given to him, even if the capital is not broken, it is estimated that the people outside the city will be burned, killed, and robbed. Duke of England, come with me and take your Zhang barbarian with you. Lu Bing said to Zhang Rong at this moment. Yes, Ding Shangshu, this is up to you. Colleagues, you should listen to the instructions of Ho Shangshu. Zhang Rong dared not resist. At this moment, he waited for the whole family to be executed, so he instructed his colleagues. Guo Gongye. The generals were very anxious. Although Zhang Rong's personal strength was not good, he still had a good command. Those generals who followed him were not afraid of being tricked to death, but if Chiu Wan or Ding Rukue were to command them, they were worried that they would die and they would not command. No need to say more, follow the instructions. Zhang Rong didn't let them continue, worried that the more they said, the more trouble it would be. I still need to meet with the emperor and clarify this matter with him. 
Soon, Zhang Rong and Zhang Hao were escorted to the West Garden by the royal guards. I have seen the emperor, Zhang Rong. Zhang Rong said and knelt down. At this moment, Zhang Hao was looking at Emperor Jiajing, very thin and weak, but his eyes were bright and majestic. Hauer, kneel down. Zhang Rong scolded as he saw Zhang Hao still standing there motionless. Zhang Hao just realized and immediately knelt down. Zhang Rong, what do you want? Jiajing sat on it and shouted, pointing at Zhang Rong. Your Majesty, this is all a misunderstanding. After receiving the order from General Pinglu, I went to the Central Army tent to wait, while my family, Hauer, was guarding outside the tent. As you know, Emperor Hauer, he may have felt tired because he was knocked unconscious by the Tatar soldiers yesterday, so he sat outside the Central Army tent to rest. Coincidentally, he met General Pinglu and saw my Hauer sitting there. He was very angry and wanted to kill Hauer. Hao rose up in rebellion, and that's what happened. Zhang Rong knelt there, telling Jiajing about the cause of the incident. What? Zhang Manzi injured him. Emperor Jiajing looked surprised when he heard this. Surprisingly, he was injured by Zhang Manzi. How can we say that? So Jiajing looked at Lu Bing. Your Majesty, this is indeed the case. Lu Bing nodded and said. He went to ask the general beside Chiu Wan, and it was no different from what Zhang Rong said. Jiajing felt helpless and turned to look at Zhang Hao, who was kneeling quietly there. Zhang Hao, do you know the crime? Jiajing scolded Zhang Hao. He wants to kill me, can't I resist? He doesn't ask a word, he'll kill as soon as he comes. Zhang Hao looked up at Jiajing and replied. No, he. You. At this moment, Jiajing felt that his mind was a bit insufficient. He couldn't figure it out how Chiu Wan was thinking and how he wanted to kill Zhang Hao. Then you hit him. Jiajing continued to stare at Zhang Hao and shouted. Well, he's not a good person. Zhang Hao nodded confidently and said. Hao, don't talk nonsense. Zhang Rong, who was immediately reprimanding at the moment, could not speak recklessly in front of the emperor. He's not a good person. I've heard many soldiers say that the Tatars were supposed to attack Datong in June. When Chil Wan found out, he sent someone to send a large sum of money to the Tatar Khan, and the Tatars withdrew from Datong and turned to attack the capital. If it weren't for him, the Tatars wouldn't have come to the capital. Zhang Hao knelt there, shouting with an angry expression, thinking to himself, if it weren't for you, you wouldn't dare to kill me. What did you say? Jiajing suddenly stood up and stared fixedly at Zhang Hao. How are you? Emperor, please forgive me. Hao has heard rumors, but you can't take them seriously. Zhang Rong was afraid and thought to himself, where did this brat come from? Why haven't he heard such rumors? Zhang Rong, you are not allowed to speak. Zhang Hao, where did you hear the news from? Jiajing stared fiercely at Zhang Hao at this moment. This news is shocking, but Jiajing dare not think further. End of this chapter. Chapter 4 Jiajing was insulted. You are listening at novelfull.audio. The source has no content or has errors. Chapter 5 All hidden from me. You are listening at novelfull.audio. The source has no content or has errors. Chapter 6 Caught in Prison You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 6 Caught in Prison Chapter 6 L. Yu Ben didn't want to approve these memorials, but Yen Song said he couldn't suppress them. L. Yu Ben was not foolish, knowing that there must be something about Yen Song. L. Yu Ben sighed in his heart and had to go and handle it. Submit it to the Imperial Household Department, take it all over, and let the Imperial Household Department make a decision. L.V. Song said to the cabinet officials. The officials collected the memorial and prepared to deliver it to the Imperial Household Department. L.U. Ben had no choice but to be a good person, but he felt that Yen Song and his team were going too far and staring at a fool. 
Soon, the memorial was delivered to the Imperial Household Department, and the eunuch with the palm seal was L.V. Fong, while the eunuch with the pen was Chen Hong and Huang Jin. Isn't this a bit excessive? Impeaching the second son of the Duke of England. Isn't that Zhang Manzi? Huang Jin finished reading those memorials and took them to Lu Fang. Upon hearing this, L.V. Fong took over and looked at it. The second son of the British Duke injured the main commander of the defense, should he have been punished. If the defense of the capital is compromised, Zhang Manzi cannot afford it, and Zhang Rome will be the unlucky one. I think dealing with Zhang Manzi is the best way to keep Zhang Rong safe. Otherwise, the emperor would have to deal with Zhang Rong if there were no steps left. Chen Hong also saw a similar memorial and pondered for a moment before speaking up. Hold on and don't send. L.V. Fong closed the memorial and spoke. Ancestor, why don't you keep it? Chen Hong was a bit surprised when he heard L.V. Fong say so. If an impeachment memorial is kept hidden and found out by the emperor, it would be troublesome. The emperor loves to read impeachment memorials the most. The emperor has been praying for blessings in the alchemy for the past few days, and as you know from the situation in the capital, he was already very angry. If such a thing were to happen again, it is uncertain that the emperor would be angry. It is us who will be scolded. L.V. Fong found an excuse and Tang Sai went over. What did they think about impeaching Zhang Hao? To avenge Chiu Wan. Revenge for Ding Rukui's son. I don't know if they can survive after this war. The emperor never dealt with Zhang Hao at all. If he had to deal with him, he would have dealt with him yesterday. On the contrary, L.V. Fong knew that Jia Jing actually liked Zhang Hao very much, especially after learning that Zhang Hao had saved his father alone, he already had the idea of taking Zhang Hao to his side as a guard. Sending these impeachment memorials now will only make judging difficult. If we don't deal with Zhang Hao, we are worried that there will be trouble on Ding Rukue's side. If we deal with Zhang Hao, judging doesn't want to do it at all. It's better to stop him and go see the emperor later and report to him. Isn't that appropriate? What if those officials continue to submit memorials? The lawsuit will be brought before the emperor. Chen Hong still said a bit unwillingly, afraid of taking responsibility if he kept it this way. Let's delay for a day, let the emperor be clean for two days first. L.V. Fong still disagrees with the approval, because once approved, it will be sent to judging. How should this memorial be approved? Yes, listen to our ancestors. Chen Hong could only agree upon hearing L.V. Fong's insistence, but he already had an idea in his heart. This matter still needs to be mentioned in front of the emperor. And Zhang Hao in the military camp has already prepared more than ten hand grenades, while the others are still being produced. Dad! Dad, Dad! Zhang Hao climbed up the northern city wall and saw Zhang Rong looking at the distant mountain. Hmm, Hauer, wake up! Zhang Rong turned his head and smiled at Zhang Hao. When he got up, he found that Zhang Hao was still asleep, so he didn't call him. Well, Dad, let's go, let's go, let me take you to keep an eye on things. Zhang Hao said as he pulled Zhang Rong to run down the city, feeling a bit confident that he could deal with those Tatar soldiers. This child, why are you so anxious? We'll see later. Dad needs to check the situation ahead. The Tatars may have deployed troops in the opposite mountain. Zhang Rong stood still with a smile, making Zhang Hao unable to move. Ah! Zhang Hao turned his head and looked at the opposite mountain, unable to see anything. Wait for dad for a while. Zhang Rong said, continuing to stand there, staring at the situation on the opposite hill. Something's wrong, Duke Guo. Normally, there must be many birds on the opposite mountain, but you see, until now, I haven't seen any birds flying. I'm worried. Last night, the Tatar soldiers moved to the opposite mountain. Hidden here. A general pointed to the distant mountain and said to Zhang Rong. Why are you hiding on the opposite hill? Is there any news from the other three directions? 
Zhang Rong frowned and asked as he looked at the general. Yes, in the other three directions, the number of Tatar soldiers has increased significantly, the general nodded and said. They want to know the news from the other three directions, it's too simple. Previously, Zhang Rong controlled the defense of the capital, but now those defending soldiers are all his subordinates. That's right, the Tatars are designing to wait for us to go out. They will come out from the north and intercept our retreat. Zhang Rong nodded and said. Zhang Hao stood there and understood that there were Tatar soldiers hidden in the opposite mountain. At night, find some soldiers who are familiar with the terrain on the opposite side, change into ordinary people's clothes, put them down, and let them go to investigate separately. Two people work in groups, let more than ten groups go down. Tomorrow morning, we will pull them up. Zhang Rong said to the general beside him. Yes, Lord Guagong, the general immediately arched his hand and said. All right, Hauer, don't you have something good? Let's go take Dad to take a look. Zhang Rong continued to smile at Zhang Hao and said. There was no way, but the foolish son still had to coax him a little. Soon, the father and son arrived at a vacant lot below. Dad, look at this, the craftsman made it. Zhang Hao said, taking three hand grenades from the craftsman behind him. What is this thing? Zhang Rong didn't understand and wanted to take it over to take a look, but Zhang Hao took it and dodged. Can't we give Zhang Rong a chance to touch him yet? If he pulls the lead, won't it be over? The artillery battle is so powerful, I'll show you how to play it. Zhang Hao had already thought of how to tell Zhang Rong, but he couldn't make Zhang Rong suspicious. He had doubts about himself yesterday, so it's better to be careful. Well, it looks quite similar. Zhang Rong nodded and looked at the long-handled grenade, which really looked like a firecracker. At this moment, Zhang Hao pulled the lead and threw it into the distance with a loud bang, startling Zhang Rong and the soldiers. Zhang Rong realized that this thing was good, so he told Zhang Hao, don't throw it away. It's very dangerous. Dad, go ahead and take a look. You guys are staring at second young master. After Zhang Rong finished speaking, he ran towards the crater and saw that a large crater had exploded, and iron plates were scattered everywhere. Seeing his performance like this, Zhang Hao knew he had discovered the benefits of hand grenades. Good thing. Zhang Rong said and ran back to Zhang Hao. Hao'er, how much more is this? Zhang Rong stared at Zhang Hao and asked. I'm still working on it. I put a lot of iron filings inside, and when I exploded, those iron filings flew all over the sky, it was amazing. Zhang Hao continued to remind Zhang Rong. Someone, immediately send someone to watch over those craftsmen, not allowed to leave, not allowed to talk to others, and also, go by ten live pigs, I want to live. Zhang Rong said excitedly, then reached out for Zhang Hao's grenade. Why, I want to play. Zhang Hao pretended to be reluctant and hid behind his back. Give it to dad, this thing is dangerous. Give it to dad quickly. Zhang Rong scolded Zhang Hao. Zhang Hao pretended to be very aggrieved and gave it to Zhang Rong. Okay, this one's not heavy either. It can be thrown far away. Zhang Rong held it in his hand and thought about how to use these grenades. Quickly, the live pig was brought over, and Zhang Rong asked them to tie a leg and tie it to the open ground. Then, Zhang Rong threw it himself. At this moment, many generals came over and watched Zhang Rong throw away. With a loud roar, the pigs that exploded were howling. Several pigs fell to the ground on the spot and couldn't get up. Zhang Rong and other generals ran over to personally inspect the pigs. Lord Guo, this is a sharp weapon, said a general excitedly. Lord Gua, as long as we have this, we are not afraid of the Tatars when we fight against them. If we throw it over like this, we can still injure them without killing them. Another general also thought of how to use it. No, I have to report to the emperor and do it quickly. Can Zhang Rong not understand the importance of this thing? Now we need to produce in large quantities. 
Zhang Rong took the remaining grenade and came to grab Zhang Hao's hand, intending to go to the Yuxi Palace in Xiuan to find the emperor. At this moment, in the alchemy room of the Yuxi Palace, L.V. Fong was delivering the approved memorial and reciting it there. As long as Jia Jing remained silent, it was satisfactory and sent to the cabinet. If dissatisfied, the emperor would make a sound, either by ringing the bell or throwing a book, as long as it could make a sound. After reading everything, L.V. Fong stood there waiting for Jia Jing to speak. Has the loyal royal army arrived yet? Is it still the Tatar soldiers outside the city? Judging sat on the platform and asked. The earliest time for the various loyal royal armies to arrive is three days. Early this morning, I heard that there were more Tatar soldiers outside the city, L.V. Fong immediately replied. What is Ding Rukue's strategy, he hasn't been motivated yet. Judging continued to ask. Returning to the emperor, it's not yet possible. Maybe it's waiting for the arrival of various loyal royal armies, Lu Fong replied again. Humph, then let them burn, kill, and plunder outside the city. Where do we leave the people of Ming Dynasty? Judging said very dissatisfied. LV Fong immediately lowered her head and bent down, afraid to speak. They have all killed at the foot of the capital city, yet they don't resist. Where do they want me to face this old face? How do they want me to face those people? Judging continued to scold. L.V. Fong remained silent, then took a deep breath in Judging and said, I want to see if there is really no one available in my Ming dynasty. Is there anything else? Yes, there are the Minister of War, two attendants, and five officials, including the Minister of Personnel, the Minister of Rights, the Left and Right Attendants, the Minister of Revenue, and three officials. In addition, there are more than ten imperial censors who have written to impeach Zhang Hao and Zhang Manzi, accusing them of injuring the defending general Chiu Wan. According to the law, they should be executed. L.V. Fong immediately reported the impeachment in detail. After hearing this, Jia Jing remained silent, and L.V. Fong dared not leave. She also didn't know what the emperor was thinking. After a while, Jia Jing spoke up and said, let the royal guards take Zhang Manzi into prison. End of this chapter Chapter 7 Isn't this a challenge for me? You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 7 Isn't this a challenge for me? Chapter 7 Judging suddenly spoke up and said that he wanted to imprison Zhang Hao. Upon hearing this, L.V. Fong was taken aback for a moment. After further reflection, she knew how Jia Jing was thinking, and could only say that he was bullying honest people. I want to see, I sent Zhang Manzi to the prison. What else can they do? What more outrageous things can they do? Do the totters outside the city really fight or not? Jia Jing's tone was filled with anger and a mentality of watching a play. Your Majesty, it's good to take Zhang Manzi, but on the British side. L.V. Fong stood there, reminding Jia Jing. Zhang Rong will understand. Tell the royal guards to take good care of Zhang Manzi for me. If there is any injury or injustice, I will take their heads. Jia Jing replied to L.V. Fong. Yes, I'll go explain it now. L.V. Fong nodded and prepared to leave. No, you ask Lu Bing to come over, and I will personally explain it to him. Judging suddenly spoke up. L.V. Fong nodded and was ready to go out. At this moment, a eunuch came in and knelt down under the platform, saying, Your Majesty, the Duke of England is asking for an important matter. Oh, let him in. Upon hearing this, Judging immediately gestured to L.V. Fong not to go out for now. The eunuch stood up and ran out. In no time, Zhang Rong and Zhang Hao arrived at the platform. I, Zhang Rong, have met the emperor. Long live my emperor. Having met the emperor, long live my emperor. Zhang Hao also knelt down and kowtowed, saying. Hmm, no gift, give me a seat. Judging sat on it and spoke. Come, Duke of England, please sit down. L.V. Fong brought a stool and Zhang Rong arched his hand. 
Then L.V. Fong wanted to move for Zhang Hao, and Zhang Hao picked it up and said, Don't bother your old man, I'll do it myself. Thank you. Well, I'm quite sensible. Jia Jing smiled as he saw this scene on the platform. Hee <laughs> hee. Zhang Hao immediately pretended to smirk. Your Majesty, last night, my son Zhang Hao wanted to play a big artillery battle and insisted on pestering me to give him gunpowder and iron. I had no choice but to give him some and let him play on his own. Unexpectedly, the artillery battle he made was extremely powerful. When I was in the military camp, I conducted experiments with live pigs. A large artillery battle was thrown over, killing five or six pigs, and the other pigs were also injured. I thought to myself, if this item can be produced in large quantities so that we can use it when attacking the totters, it can be very effective against the enemy's cavalry. Zhang Rong said excitedly to Jia Jing. Oh, is there such a thing? Jia Jing also became interested upon hearing it. Yes, your majesty, this item is dangerous. I dare not bring it into the palace, but please trust me. As long as the emperor agrees, I will immediately produce a large quantity. When the Qin Wang army arrives, I will take the soldiers and kill them out of the city, insisting that the Tatar soldiers know that our great Ming power cannot be violated. Zhang Rong sat there and arched his hand at Jia Jing. Hmm, Zhang Manzi, did you get it? Jia Jing looked at Zhang Hao with a hint of suspicion after hearing it. Well, I made it out. When I saw them firing red cannons, I thought I wanted some, but they didn't let me order it, so I came to play on my own. Zhang Hao nodded happily and said. This child, the red cannon is not something you play with. Jia Jing smiled and said to Zhang Hao. Yes, this child is not sensible, so wherever he goes, I have to take him with me, just because I'm afraid he might cause trouble. Zhang Rong looked at Zhang Hao and smiled kindly. Mmm. Jia Jing let out a sigh, but there was no further explanation. Zhang Rong didn't know exactly what Jia Jing was thinking, so he could only wait and see. Zhang Rong, I will detain Zhang Manzi for a period of time. Do you think so? Jia Jing suddenly asked. Ah, this is, Emperor. Hao is at fault and should be punished. Jean Rong was shocked when he heard this, but he still knelt down. Don't worry, I won't let Jean Manzi suffer any injustice, nor will I let him suffer from beating, hunger, or cold. Jia Jing explained. Jean Rong is a bit unsure of what Jia Jing really thinks. If he says that, isn't Jean Hao okay? But since he's okay, why are you arresting him? Thank you, Emperor. Zhang Rong knelt down again. Zhang Hao thought to himself, what exactly is this lunatic trying to do? I've only traveled here for two days, so you want me to go to jail. The Tatar soldiers haven't finished fighting yet, so you want me to go to jail. Do you still want to win? Zhang Hao, wait a moment. Someone will take you to the Jin Wei prison. You are not allowed to resist, have you heard? Jia Jing confessed to Zhang Hao. I won't go, I'll follow my father to fight the Tatar soldiers. They dare not fight. Zhang Hao sat there, shaking his head very firmly. What are you talking about? Who dares not fight? Do whatever the emperor asks you to do. Do you hear me? I'll go to the prison of the royal guards later, be obedient. Zhang Rong immediately scolded Zhang Hao. They just don't dare to fight. Humph, I don't know them yet. They rely on the high and thick walls of Beijing, and the Tatar soldiers cannot enter. They allow those Tatar soldiers to rob outside, and no one wants to kill the enemy. Anyway, when the Qin Wang army arrives, those Tatar soldiers will naturally retreat. I'm not like them, I dare to fight. Zhang Hao looked up and said proudly. Hiss. Jia Jing stood up at this moment, looking at Zhang Hao in shock, with suspicion in his heart. This kid doesn't seem like a fool. Then he asked Zhang Hao, how did you know? It's not easy, they're afraid of death. Emperor, I'm not afraid of death. 
Zhang Hao immediately looked at Jia Jing and said proudly. This kid, are you not afraid of death? After hearing this, Jia Jingting was pleased, but he remembered Zhang Hao's words in his heart. I'm not afraid, I'll use artillery to kill them. Zhang Hao shook his head and said. Okay, I can't let you die. If you die, who will protect me? Be obedient and stay in the royal guard's prison, just sleep and play there, okay? Jia Jing coaxed Zhang Hao at the moment. Well, I'm going with my copper hammer. If anyone bullies me, I'll hammer them to death. Zhang Hao pretended to think for a moment before speaking. Okay. Jia Jing nodded and said with a smile. I want to eat meat, by the way, Dad, you give me money, I'll go to jail, and then I'll buy something to eat. My silver has been stolen. Zhang Hao still pretended not to know what the royal guard's prison looks like, and reached out to ask Zhang Rong for money. This dad didn't bring any money, he'll have someone deliver it to you later. Zhang Rong said with a big head. What does this kid think about going to jail to buy food? LV Fong. Jia Jing shouted. I'm here. LV Fong chuckled from behind and arched her hand. Go and collect fifty tails of silver, give it to Zhang Manzi. Then go and handle your affairs. Jia Jing ordered. Yes. LV Fong immediately turned around and left. All right, Zhang Manzi, you go wait outside. Jia Jing said to Zhang Hao. Yes. Emperor. Zhang Hao stood up, arched his hand, and walked outside. Then Jia Jing walked down and approached Zhang Rong. Zhang Rong stood up and bowed. Now, I can only let the barbarians suffer some injustice. Early in the morning, the cabinet received dozens of impeachment memorials against Zhang barbarians. If I don't handle them, they will continue to impeach them. Let's wait until this battle is over. Jia Jing said and went to see the memorials that LV Fong had just left. Yes, your majesty, the barbarians are not sensible, causing your majesty to worry. Zhang Rong arched his hand again and said. The barbarians are very sensible, but there are those who claim to be capable officials and officials, and none of them are sensible. In addition, if you want to do that big artillery battle, we will give you a decree to mobilize the craftsmen of the Ministry of Works to do it. However, you should not easily go out. You have not commanded the battle, and your personal martial arts skills are not good. Fighting is the business of those generals, the business of the Ministry of War, not your business. Jia Jing said as he flipped through the memorials. Emperor Xie, if there is a chance, I will definitely kill you. I am the Duke of the Ming Dynasty. The Tatar soldiers have bullied me like this, and I would rather die than be ashamed. Zhang Rong immediately knelt down and said with emotion, Jia Jing is indeed good to Zhang Rong. Ah, those generals who are not generals but do their work are actually soldiers. Zhang Rong, after this battle, the two battalions in the capital have expanded into three battalions, and the number of soldiers has increased from 50,000 to 80,000. No one is allowed to send those soldiers. You must exercise restraint and train them strictly. Those people are unreliable. Jia Jing put down the memorial and looked at Zhang Rong, saying, Yes, Emperor, rest assured. I will strictly train the soldiers. Don't let the Emperor down. Zhang Rong kowtowed and said. Get up, I'll write the Imperial Edict. You go handle the things I've assigned you, Zhang Manzi's matter, you don't have to worry. Jia Jing said as he walked to the front of the desk. Zhang Rong quickly went over and spread the Imperial Edict for Jia Jing, sharpened the ink, and took a pen. Just finished writing, L.V. Fong and Lu Bing went outside to wait. L.V. Fong walked in. Let Lu Bing come in. Jia Jing knew that Lu Bing had come when he saw Lu Fong come in. Yes. L.V. Fong immediately left. We will personally explain to Lu Bing, so you can guard the north with peace of mind. Jia Jing said to Zhang Rong. The emperor is worried. Zhang Rong arched his hand again and said. At this moment, 
Jia Jing gave the imperial edict to Zhang Rong and walked up to the platform. I have seen the emperor, long live my emperor. Lu Bing knelt down. Wait a moment, take Zhang Manzi with you and take him to the royal guard's prison. Remember, if Zhang Manzi suffers some injustice or is slightly injured, I will ask you. In addition, I gave him fifty tails of silver. Whatever food he wants to buy, you can arrange for someone to buy it. If he doesn't get it, you can take care of it yourself. Jia Jing sat on top and spoke. Lu Bing felt a bit depressed in his heart. He didn't think Ma De was going to jail at the royal guards. He was on a trip and had to take care of himself. Yes, Emperor. Lu Bing kowtowed and said. Outside, Zhang Hao was thinking about why Jia Jing had to shut himself down, probably because Ding Rukue was causing trouble. Jia Jing Guan himself is an explanation to Ding Rukue. If he goes to jail, it shouldn't be a big deal. It's just that his father is currently guarding the north. If there is a fight, there will be danger. I have to rely on my father now, and I can't let him get into trouble. I have to find a way to get out. In no time, Lu Bing asked the royal guards to escort Zhang Hao to the royal guards' prison, and Zhang Hao still twisted two copper hammers over. After receiving this news, Yen Shifan immediately summoned his acquaintances in the royal guards. Yen Shifan could not control Lu Bing, but had a cooperative relationship, and both sides used each other. Therefore, when dealing with matters in the royal guards, Yen Shifan had his own people. He remembers what his father said. If Zhang Manzi dies, the British public house will be abolished. In the future, in the Ming dynasty, except for the emperor, there is no need to fear anyone. End of this chapter Chapter 8 Going to Prison You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 8 Going to Prison Chapter 8 Zhang Hao arrived at the Jin Yi Wei prison and lived in a single room with good conditions. Lu Bing also had the room cleaned up and brought new sheets and blankets, and the door to the cell was not closed. Zhang Hao sat there, carefully pondering his own affairs. It was the third day of the Ming dynasty and he had not yet carefully considered his own situation. During the judging period, it was too dangerous. Just like now, I had nothing to do with myself and was sent to prison, and I am still well served. I really don't know what judging was thinking, but in the future, we must not show shrewdness in front of judging. Just pretend to be confused in everything. Since it's called Zhang Manzi, that's quite good. Zhang Hao thought about it and fell asleep in bed. Last night, he stared at making grenades and didn't sleep well. At Yen Shifan's mansion, he was drinking tea with a thousand households of the Jinyui standing on the side. Xiao Ge Lao. If you have any instructions, just let me know. If I can do it, I will definitely do it for you, said the Qinhu of the royal guards with a careful smile. Well, Zhang Dian, I heard that Zhang Manzi has been sent to the prison of the royal guards. Yen Shifan put down his teacup and asked as he looked at Zhang Dian, a thousand households of the royal guards. Yes, there's such a thing going on, but the commander personally orders. Without his orders, you're not allowed to approach Zhang Manzi, including interrogation. Zhang Dian looked at Yen Shifan puzzled, not knowing why he asked Zhang Manzi. Hmm. There's something you need to do. Yen Shifan said as he looked at Zhang Dian. Zhang Dian doesn't understand, but he thinks it must be related to Zhang Hao. Yen Shifan sneered and asked, what's wrong? Zhang Qianhu has already looked down upon no one to this extent now. Ah, uh, I dare not, I dare not, I just don't understand. Please spare my life. Zhang Dian immediately knelt down and kept kowtowing. Don't forget, I have made a big effort to make you a thousand households. Yen Shifan said, lifting his tea cup and drinking tea again. Yes, yes, I dare not forget. Just let me know if the old man has any instructions for you. I will do whatever I can, said Zhang Dian, kneeling there. Well, I want you to interrogate Zhang Manzi and make him speak up. 
He said that the injury to Chiu Wan yesterday was ordered by Zhang Rong, a fool. I think if you tempt him a little, he can say it. It's not difficult, right? Yen Shifan sat there, put down his tea cup, and looked at Zhang Dian. Not difficult, not difficult. Just. Just something, go ahead and do it. Yen Shifan didn't wait for Zhang Dian to ask before he picked up his tea cup and started seeing off the guests. Yes, let's take care of the small one. Zhang Dian stood up with difficulty in understanding. Go do it when there aren't many people at night. Yen Shifan reminded. Yes, what Xiao Ge Lao reminded me is. Zhang Dian said as he arched his hand at Yen Shifan and then retreated. In no time, Yen Song came out from behind, and Yen Shifan immediately stood up and helped Yen Song sit down. Are you in such a hurry to deal with Zhang Manzi? How much did you charge Chiu Wan? Yen Song sat down and spoke up. Dad, this is not a matter of not having money. Dad, you haven't been serving as the head of the cabinet for long, and Chiu Wan's side was injured. The emperor hasn't dealt with Zhang Rong yet, isn't that obvious? If we don't deal with Zhang Manzi, who dares to follow your father in handling things in the future? Yen Shifan stood there and explained to Yen Song. You can't handle Zhang Rong. Yen Song sat there and said expressionlessly. I know, my goal is not him either. It's Zhang Manzi. Dad, what do you think? If Zhang Manzi was instructed by Zhang Rong, the emperor would not deal with him, but he will definitely deal with Zhang Manzi. As Dad said yesterday, as long as Zhang Manzi is killed, how will Zhang Rong still fight us? Yen Shifan looked at Yen Shifan with great pride in his tone. Yen Song didn't say a word, as if he had agreed to Yen Shifan's idea. He continued, Well, tonight, let's see if we can arrange a meeting with Lu Bing. I have something to talk to him about. The recent performance of the emperor has been a bit hard for my father to see through. I don't know where the problem is. This morning, the supervisor of the Imperial Household Department received news that L. V. Fong had not even submitted those impeachment memorials. L. V. Fong didn't have the courage to do so. There must be something wrong, we don't know. I estimate that Lu Bing knows, yes, I will send someone to invite Lu Bing later. Yen Shifan also took it seriously upon hearing this. Soon, Yen Shifan sent someone to find Lu Bing. Upon hearing that Yen Song was looking for him, Lu Bing thought for a moment and realized that it was better not to see him. He then told Yen Shifan's people that he had something else to report to the emperor tonight. If he didn't have time, he would go there another day. In fact, Lu Bing did not want to reveal the story of Chiu Wan and Ding Rukue to Yen Song. Yesterday, the emperor warned himself that if it was leaked, there would be no good fruit to eat. He and Yen Song were just not interfering with each other, not even an alliance. In the evening, Zhang Hao sat there, eating grilled meat, roast duck, and pig trotters, all of which were bought by Zhang Hao with money. Of course, he couldn't go out to buy them, but asked the royal guards to help him buy them. After finishing those, Zhang Hao twisted his hammer and began patrolling the cell. Otherwise, he would have been bored and slept for an afternoon. And those royal guards dare not stop Zhang Hao, as long as Zhang Hao does not leave the royal guards' prison. After patrolling around, Zhang Hao found that they were all officials who had committed crimes, including low-dot-level officials. Feeling bored, he returned to his own cell. Not long after sitting down, Zhang Hao saw the Jin Yi Wei playing cards outside the prison cell. He twisted a copper hammer and walked over, standing beside him watching. Oh, Zhang Manzi, do you understand? A small flag of the royal guards looked at Zhang Hao and asked. Not bad, isn't it just Mahjong? My mother also plays. Zhang Hao nodded and said, who wouldn't know how to play Mahjong? In later times, I would win 9 out of 10. Although my card playing skills are average, I have a good memory and can remember cards, so I rarely light a cannon. Oh ho, that's okay, Zhang Manzi. People say you're a fool outside, and you can still play cards. 
That little flag smiled and said to Zhang Hao. You are the fool, your whole family is all fools. Zhang Hao immediately cursed upon hearing this. Grandpa, pretending to be foolish in front of the emperor can still make you laugh in front of you. Okay, here's a few. Don't mention when you don't have money to buy food. That little flag didn't care either. He was also in prison, and outside, he didn't even have the qualification to speak in front of Zhang Hao. All right. Zhang Hao immediately pushed away the person in front and sat down on his own. It happened to be boring, and having this for leisure would also be good. After about an hour of playing, Zhang Hao had not yet taken out his own silver, but there were already many copper coins and a few broken pieces of silver piled up on the table. Zhang Manzi, do you know how to play? I'm all for the cards now. Do you have a Maada who like a fart who? If you have a fart who, you still have the same card as my who, cut off my who. Zhang Hao had just poured the cards when the other player shouted at him in frustration. Can't you do it? I'm crazy. Zhang Hao looked at his cards and then said, looking at the royal guards. Stop fighting, depressed. Look at him. How much nonsense did he do tonight? The royal guards angrily stopped fighting. Oh, forget it. I'm tired too, I'm going to bed. Zhang Hao said as he stood up and walked straight to the cell. Hey, Zhang Manzi, your money, the little flag shouted at Zhang Hao. No, my mother said, I can't gamble. If I'm found gambling, I'll hit me. Zhang Hao waved his hand, actually not wanting their money. They were on duty and didn't have much money at all. Besides, he didn't want to offend them here. There's no need, and he himself wasn't that bad either. No, Zhang Manzi, you won the little flag looked at Zhang Hao and said. You can share it, I have money. Zhang Hao said as he went to the bedside of the prison cell and sat down. Don't worry, Zhang Manzi is quite good, said the person sitting at Zhang Hao's house. Come on, you're not as good as Zhang Manzi. How grand is he? Xiao Qi looked at the young man with disdain and said. The young man immediately started to smirk. At this moment, more than ten people came in from outside, and the leader was Zhang Dian. I've seen Lord Qin Hu. The night guards saw Zhang Dian coming and knelt down to salute. Which cell is Zhang Hao? Zhang Dian stood there and said. Ah. A few imperial guards were stunned for a moment and immediately looked at Zhang Hao's cell. And when Zhang Hao heard the person say his name, he couldn't help but look over here. Is that him? Zhang Dian followed the gaze of the several imperial guards and saw Zhang Hao. He then pointed to Zhang Hao and asked the small flag kneeling down. To be honest, yes. Little flag nodded. Zhang Dian went straight to Zhang Hao's cell with his people and found that the cell was not locked. He was taken aback for a moment, but still pushed it open. Are you Zhang Hao? Zhang Dian stared at Zhang Hao and asked. Yes. Zhang Hao stood up, still twisting two hammers in his hand. Zhang Hao felt that the other party was here to cause trouble, otherwise he wouldn't have asked himself so seriously. Take it to the interrogation cell. Zhang Dian said as he turned around to leave. Sir, sir, no way. Little Flag quickly ran in to stop him. Previously, Lu Bing had made it very clear that Zhang Hao could not be taken away by anyone, let alone injured or wronged. Now that he has been taken to the interrogation cell by Zhang Dian, that's not bad. Bold. Are you seeking death, right? Zhang Dian scolded as soon as he saw that the small flag dared to stop him. Then he turned around and said to the royal guards behind him, take it away. A few royal guards are about to get started. Go to your master. Zhang Hao saw that they were about to get started, swung his hammer, and started smashing. If he didn't know that they were not good at it at this time, he would be really foolish. If he dared to come here to find him, he probably had a big shot behind him. But no matter how big a person is, judging is not as big. 
Jia Jing personally told himself that he cannot be wronged, let alone injured. End of this chapter. Chapter 9. Give a Joy. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 9 Give a Joy Chapter 9 Zhang Dian just said he wanted to take it away, but Zhang Hao swung his hammer and started hammering. Those royal guards did not expect that Zhang Hao dared to fight back, and it was a direct attack on their vital points. Ah! One Jin Yi Wei had his arm broken by a hammer. If it weren't for his arm blocking his head, his head would have been shattered. Another Jin Yi Wei had his chest hit by a hammer, and the person flew out and hit several people. Zhang Hao, you're so brave. Kill anyone. Zhang Dian waved his hand and shouted as he saw that Zhang Hao dared to hit their royal guards. The remaining five royal guards immediately drew their swords. Lord Qian Hu, Lord Qian Hu, it's not possible. The commander has instructed us not to move Zhang Hao, the small flag knelt down and shouted. Get out of here. Zhang Dian felt embarrassed at this moment. He didn't care about this and drew his sword, ready to go up and fight against Zhang Hao. And now, Zhang Hao is fighting against the other five royal guards, and he is completely at odds. Ah! One of the royal guards was hit in the head, and with a loud, ah, sound, there was no more breath. The other four royal guards were stunned for a moment. Stop, everyone stop. The little flag, seeing that this was not working, also drew out his own sword and pointed at Zhang Dian, shouting. The several royal guards who played cards with Zhang Hao before also drew their swords and pointed at Zhang Dian's group. Li Goer, can you reverse it? Zhang Dian glared angrily at the small flag named Li Goer. Damn it, come on. Zhang Hao's hammer began to attack fiercely, and with one blow, it knocked down another genie guard. The remaining three royal guards quickly retreated. They have also realized now that they are not a match for this Zhang barbarian at all. It's unbearable to be hammered down like this. As soon as Zhang Hao saw the other royal guards retreating, he immediately attacked Zhang Dian with a hammer. Zhang Dian raised his sword and was about to block it. With a clang sound, Zhang Dian felt his tiger mouth tingling. Before he could launch a counterattack, Zhang Hao struck again. Zhang Dian blocked again, but didn't have time. Zhang Hao hit his arm with a hammer, and then a heart-wrenching pain came from his arm. He felt his rib was injured. What are you still waiting for? Kill him. Zhang Dian shouted at the several royal guards he brought with him. Who dares? Li Goer held a knife at them. Li Goer, I'll kill you. Zhang Dian was very angry, with a small flag that dared to question his command. But at this moment, Zhang Hao's copper hammer came again, and Zhang Dian continued to block it. Unexpectedly, he missed the block and his knife was smashed by Zhang Hao. Zhang Haoman kicked Zhang Dian into the wall, then he twisted his hammer and rushed over. Zhang Manzi, no way. Zhang Manzi, you can't smash it. Li Guer and the others quickly shouted. Just kidding, Zhang Dian is a thousand households, a fourth rank official in the court, and that's something Zhang Hao can kill. But Zhang Hao wouldn't easily bypass him. With just one hammer, it was Zhang Dian's turn to hit his calf. With a click, Zhang Dian's calf was clearly broken. Zhang Dian let out a loud cry and then passed out in pain. And the remaining few royal guards were so scared that they broke out in cold sweat. This barbarian is really brave. A thousand households, just smash it like this. Go get some cold water. Zhang Hao turned his head and stared at Li Guer, saying. No, this. Yes. Li Guer didn't know what to do, but upon reflection, he had offended Zhang Dian tonight. If he wanted to live, either Zhang Dian would be taken down or he would rely on Zhang Hao to cover him up. Zhang Hao's father is the Duke of the Dynasty. Quickly, Li Guer came over with a bucket of water, and Zhang Hao took it and poured it on Zhang Dian's face. Zhang Dian woke up slowly and then shouted loudly for pain. 
shut up for me and say, who sent you here? Otherwise, I'll smash all your limbs. Zhang Hao, holding a sledgehammer, pointed at Zhang Dian and said. I didn't offend Zhang Dian myself, and I didn't even know who he was. If it weren't for being instructed, I wouldn't believe it if I were killed. Someone killed me. Zhang Dian gritted his teeth and said fiercely to Zhang Hao. What's killing you? Do you believe in annihilating the Nine Clans? You've been used as a gun and are still here to help others carry it. Zhang Hao sneered at Zhang Dian and said. At this moment, Zhang Dian looked at Zhang Hao with fear. Zhang Hao was not a fool, not at all. Say it or not. Zhang Hao pointed at Zhang Dian and said. Humph. Zhang Dian twisted his head to one side. Zhang Hao immediately hammered down with a click, and Zhang Dian shouted again. The other royal guards in the cell were all scared out of their wits, which was too cruel. Draw water. Zhang Hao said to Li Guer next to him. Zhang Manzi, no, Grandpa, you can't hit him anymore. If you hit him again, he will die. At this moment, Li Goer was also afraid and quickly called Zhang Hao, Grandpa. Are you going or not? Zhang Hao pointed a hammer at Li Guer and said. Okay, okay, I'll go get it. You, go and report it to the commander. Li Guer really doesn't know what to do, so he must let the commander know about this matter. No need. I'll personally tell him later, you fetch water. Zhang Hao quickly scolded Li Guer and continued to let him fetch water. Soon, a bucket of cold water came again, and Zhang Hao continued to pour it on his face. Zhang Dian woke up again at this moment, and he couldn't bear the pain. Say it or not, do it again. Zhang Hao said, pointing a hammer at his lower body. You, you. Zhang Dian was scared and wanted to hammer at this place. Can he still survive? Even if he is alive, he is still a eunuch, and there is no need to castrate him when he enters the palace to serve the emperor. Okay, there's seed. Zhang Hao said as he raised his sledgehammer. Wait, wait. Zhang Dian was scared, really scared. Who? Zhang Hao stared at Zhang Dian and asked. Please spare me, me. Zhang Dian was about to go crazy at the moment, and even if he said it, he would die. If he didn't say it, he would also die. Don't say it. I'll tell you, if I don't say it, I'll kill the nine clans. Don't think I'm scaring you. Ask them how Lu Bing told them. Zhang Hao pointed at Li Guer with a hammer and said. The commander said that as long as Zhang Hao doesn't leave the cell, he can't suffer any injustice or injury, otherwise it will take our heads. Li Guer quickly spoke up. Zhang Dian still didn't understand the meaning of this sentence. Do you think my family has such a good relationship with Lu Bing? Hmm. Zhang Hao continued to stare at Zhang Dian. Zhang Dian looked at Zhang Hao in terror at this moment. Now he understood that behind Zhang Hao was the emperor, who had instructed Lu Bing to do so. Not to mention, I will definitely let you execute the nine clans. Zhang Hao stared at Zhang Dian and said. I said, I said, it was Xiao Ge Lao who asked me to come and interrogate you. You injured Chiu Luan before, was it your father who instructed you to do so? At this moment, Zhang Dian knew he couldn't bear it anymore. If he had to bear it again, his own death would be a small matter, and his family would all die. Yen Shifan. Oh, I understand. Zhang Hao nodded as soon as he heard him say this. He finally understood what was going on. Emotions came to avenge Chiu Wan. I also want to deal with my own father. Yen Shifan was overshadowed in the capital, but the two of them didn't buy much from them. One was Lu Bing, and the other was his own father. However, Lu Bing had secretly colluded with Yen Song, as recorded in history, but his own father wouldn't have any dealings with him. Then Zhang Hao walked up to Zhang Dian's matching knife, kicked the knife to his remaining good hand, and said, Solve it on your own, otherwise, I won't be able to protect your family. Ah! 
Zhang Dian looked at Zhang Hao in a daze, not even dreaming of such a result. You guys, it's the same. Let's solve it on your own. Don't say I didn't remind you, otherwise, we'll destroy the nine tribes. Zhang Hao looked at the people brought by Zhang Dian and said. Those few people immediately knelt down, and now of course they know what's going on. Even Zhang Dian can't handle it. Who else can handle these minions? Grandpa, spare your life, spare your life. We just came here to handle things, we don't know anything. Grandpa, please spare us. Grandpa. Please spare your life. Those who are still alive, including those who were injured by Zhang Hao before, knelt on the ground and kept kowtowing, begging for mercy. Do you think you can still survive? Hmm. Do I want you to work hard? If he doesn't die, his family will kill the nine clans. If you don't die, his family will also kill the nine clans, and at the same time, your family will also kill the nine clans. Death without proof is the best way. Zhang Hao looked at them and said helplessly. Ah. Those people were all dumbfounded. Zhang Dian was lying there at the moment, looking at those subordinates. Then he quickly raised his knife and hit his heart, startling those people again. Me, me. The remaining few royal guards cried. Why don't we ask them to help? Zhang Hao said as he sat on the edge of the bed, pointing at Li Guer and the others, and said to the kneeling genie guards. Wu Wu, one of the royal guards burst into tears, never realizing that following Qian Hu out on a mission would result in losing his life. Please, let's do it. Give it a good time. A Jinyui kneeling there said to Li Guer, wondering where he could do it. Li Guer also knows that they can only protect their families if they die. I've offended you. Li Goer and the others walked over with knives. Before Li Goer started, he looked at Zhang Hao and found him with his head down, gritting his teeth, cutting and then standing there foolishly. Let's cut each other a few swords and give you some credit. Ordinary ones, raise a small flag or raise a general flag. Remember, you didn't hear anything just now and didn't see anything. Just say, cooperate with me and kill them. Zhang Hao sat there, looking at Li Guer and the others. This. Li Guer and his team, you look at me, I look at you. Don't chop too hard, chop each other. Zhang Hao sat there and continued. Grandpa, are you serious? Li Guer looked at Zhang Hao in surprise. Hurry up, I still have to go find Lu Bing. This matter is not over yet. Zhang Hao looked at Li Guer and smiled. Come on. Li Guer said as he looked at his subordinates, who were also a bit excited at the moment to be promoted. Who's not excited? End of this chapter. Chapter 10 I want to go home. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 10 I want to go home. Chapter 10 Zhang Hao twisted his hammer and headed straight to Lu Bing's mansion followed by Li Guer and a few genie guards, but they had all been bandaged. Grandpa, how can we explain to the commander when you leave the prison? Li Guer hugged his arm and chased after Zhang Hao anxiously. Explain. He needs to explain to me. Zhang Hao said angrily. And Li Guer and the others were also helpless, and no one expected such a thing to happen tonight. Quickly, they arrived at Lu Bing's mansion, and Zhang Hao twisted a hammer and knocked it on. Dang dang, the loud noise startled the people inside Lu Bing's mansion, while Li Goer and his companions looked at Zhang Hao speechlessly. Although the door was not damaged, the vermilion paint had peeled off. They knew there was a copper ring, so why knocked on the door with a hammer? Who, looking for death? At this moment, a servant opened the door and saw Zhang Hao and the several royal guards behind him, shouting very displeased because the royal guards were all subordinates of Lu Bing. Let Lu Bing come out, otherwise I'll smash his door. Zhang Hao stood there, staring at the servant and said. Are you? The steward was taken aback for a moment, his tone quite strong. Moreover, in the middle of the night, he twisted two hammers and came knocking on the door. 
the royal guards behind him dared not do anything to him. Hurry up, you can't afford to provoke me. Li Gu'er stood there and said to the servant. The servant closed the door and headed straight to the inner courtyard of the mansion. What are you saying, twisting two hammers? And the royal guards? Upon hearing the servant's report, Lu Bing immediately thought of who it was. Thinking to himself, who is bothering this master anymore? Quickly, Lu Bing and his men arrived at the main entrance. As soon as they opened the door, it was indeed Zhang Hao. Then he also noticed that the several royal guards behind him were injured. Zhang Manzi. What are you crazy about? Why are you hitting them? Lu Bing thought Zhang Hao had beaten them, so he stared at Zhang Hao and asked. I'm telling you, I'm going home. Someone in your royal guard's prison is going to kill me. I'm not going. The emperor told me back then that I wouldn't suffer any injustice inside. It's so bad now, I almost lost my life. You're sending me back to the mansion now. Zhang Hao stood there, staring at Lu Bing and said displeased. What did you say? Someone killed you. Lu Bing was shocked when he heard this. Who is so bold as to dare to kill someone in the prison of the royal guards? Isn't this a slap in the face? So he turned his head to look at Li Guer. Commander, it's true. Zhang Dian, a thousand households, brought someone to the prison to interrogate Zhang Hao. If Zhang Hao didn't go, he started fighting. We all tried our best to protect Zhang Hao, but fortunately, Zhang Hao was so powerful that we beat them all. Zhang Hao asked Zhang Dian why he wanted to kill him, and Zhang Dian killed himself. Li Gu knelt down and said. The other several royal guards also knelt down. What are you talking about? Zhang Dian. Upon hearing this, Lu Bing couldn't help but feel angry. At this moment, he also understood. No wonder yesterday Yan Shifan wanted to find him. Darren Qin wanted him to kill Zhang Hao. And he is also aware of the relationship between Zhang Dian and Yan Shifan. Let's go take me to take a look. Lu Bing spoke, as he was about to walk towards the Jin Yi Wei prison. Zhang Hao immediately stopped him and said, Stop and take me back. Isn't it? Upon hearing this, Lu Bing looked at Zhang Hao with a worried expression and escorted him back. Well, the emperor only sent him to the prison yesterday. Are you going to send him back today? That, Zhang Manzi, this misunderstanding. I'm not going, I want to go home. Zhang Hao didn't listen to Lu Bing's explanation at all. He finally came out and could go in again. He also had to help his father. No, this was ordered by the emperor. Lu Bing felt helpless. I don't care, the emperor still said he guarantees that I won't be wronged or hurt. They want to kill me, so I won't go back. If it weren't for them tonight, I would all die in the cell. When I go back, I will tell my father to thank them. Zhang Hao shook his head and said, I won't go back. At the same time, he also told Lu Bing about Li Guer's credit. In one sentence, it's the few of them who are covering it up. No, Zhang Hao. Without the emperor's words, I wouldn't dare to let you leave. Lu Bing looked at Zhang Hao in embarrassment and said. If Zhang Hao goes back, he will definitely be harshly criticized by Jiajing tomorrow, and even punished. Now, Lu Bing wants to make things bigger. I don't care, do you give me a ride or not? If you don't give me a ride, I'll go to your mansion and smash your house. Zhang Hao raised his hammer and threatened, staring at Lu Bing. You and me. Lu Bing was very angry. You couldn't reason with the person in front of him. Besides, if you really pushed Zhang Hao to the brink, smashing his own mansion would be nothing, even he dared to smack himself. Do you want to deliver it or not? Zhang Hao said as he was about to go to Lu Bing's mansion. Send, I'll send, go, I'll send you now. Lu Bing compromised and couldn't afford it. He could only agree to Zhang Hao's request and send him back. Along the way, Lu Bing asked Li Goer, 
and Li Goer only mentioned the scene of the fight back then. He said he didn't know anything else, and this was also what Zhang Hao told him on the way. Soon, Zhang Hao returned to the mansion, and his mother was surprised to learn that Zhang Hao had returned. At noon, Zhang Rong returned to the mansion and gave a simple explanation of Zhang Hao's affairs, reassuring his wife. Unexpectedly, he returned soon. Mother, I was killed in the cell, and it's all thanks to these brothers to save me. Zhang Hao stood in the living room and said to his mother. What are you saying? Su Shi glared angrily at Lu Bing. Lu Bing immediately arched his hand and said, This is a misunderstanding. Please forgive me, madam. Su Shi is not only Zhang Rong's wife, but also the daughter of Duke Su Pengju of Wei, and Su Pengju's ancestor is Su Da, the founding general of the Ming dynasty. He can't afford to provoke this woman. Misunderstanding. You can even mess up what the emperor told you personally. Are you fooling my son? Are you an ordinary person who can kill people in the royal guard's prison? Who the hell is it? Su Shi is not foolish. He can't even enter the royal guard's prison if he has no ability. Madam, let me investigate for a while. I just found out about this matter. Zhang Manzi is coming back, so I can only send him back first. Lu Bing's forehead was sweating at the moment. And Zhang Hao was also shocked, it was the first time he had seen such a majestic side of his mother. My mother always smiles and comforts me. You, the royal guards, owe my family an explanation. Su pointed at Lu Bing and said. Yes, I will definitely explain it. Lu Bing arched his hand again and then Su Shi looked at the injured royal guards. Someone, come over and take 400 tails of silver to give to these little brothers. In the future, if you encounter any problems, remember to come to the mansion and tell them that the mansion owes you this favor. As long as you can help, you will definitely help. Su Shi finished giving orders to the servants and immediately said to Li Guer and the others. Thank you very much, madam, several people quickly arched their hands and said. Madam, it's getting late. Please rest first and I'll investigate thoroughly. Lu Bing arched his hand at Su Shi and said. Okay. Su nodded. Soon, Lu Bing led them out and the servant gave Li Goer and his team 400 tails of silver. Li Goer and the others were very happy, but Lu Bing was not happy. He walked all the way to the genie guard prison with a dark face and looked at the bodies on the ground, only to find that they were all smashed. When Zhang Hao left the prison cell, he hammered them again, creating the illusion that they were killed by Li Guer and others after being injured by himself. Lu Bing looked around but didn't see any flaws, so he said to his subordinates with a black face, drag it out and clean up here. After Lu Bing finished speaking, he left and went home. Tomorrow, he will ask Yen Shifan what he really means. Causing oneself such a big trouble. The next day, after Zhang Hao woke up, he headed straight to the northern Chinese army tent and found that his father Zhang Rong was not there. So he went up to the city wall and indeed found him. At this moment, Zhang Rong stood on the city wall. The news had already been cleared last night, and there were no less than 10,000 Tatar soldiers hiding in the northern forest. General, what should we do now? There has been no movement in the other three directions. Some generals have requested to fight, but they have not been approved. A general looked at Zhang Rong and asked. How many people are there in the other three directions? Zhang Rong asked again. There are no less than 10,000 people in each direction, and I don't know if there is an ambush. There are 100,000 people coming from the Tatars. I estimate that they will definitely leave half of their troops to block the capital, and the rest will go and grab it, the general looked at Zhang Rong and said. We only have 10,000 people, not yet. We can't stand up and defend the city first. Attack, we have to wait for two days. Zhang Rong gritted his teeth and said. He only has 10,000 men and horses on hand now. Even if he goes out, he may not be the opponent of those Tatar soldiers in the north, let alone on this side of the city wall, there is no room for loss. 
Dad, Dad. Zhang Hao quickly walked over and shouted loudly. Upon hearing this, Zhang Rong turned around in surprise and looked at Zhang Hao in surprise. How did this kid come out? How are, who let you come out without permission? Go back quickly. Zhang Rong said anxiously at this moment. Dad, if someone wants to kill me, I'll come out. Zhang Hao said loudly. What are you saying? Someone wants to kill you. Zhang Rong was startled and continued to stare at Zhang Hao. Last night, a thousand households of the royal guards wanted to kill me, and I asked Lu Bing to bring me back. Zhang Hao continued to speak. A thousand households. Okay, okay, okay. Zhang Rong was furious at the moment. How dare a thousand households go and kill their own son? He doesn't have the courage yet. At this moment, in the Yushi Palace, Lu Bing knelt down, not daring to lift his head. From reporting Zhang Hao's murder to now, it had been half a burning incense stick. Jia Jing didn't say a word, and Lu Bing felt that his forehead and back were already wet with sweat. End of this chapter